Hi, I'm Tom D here live in Rotterdam and I'm at the H2 Scan booth. Perhaps you can introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Dave Myers. I'm the Chief Operating Officer for H2 Scan. So what does your role at H2 Scan involve? I'm responsible for the operations, which includes manufacturing, uh, and product development and sales. Okay, so tell us a little bit about H2 Scan and an introduction to what they do. Okay, H2 Scan has been a company that's been around for about 20 years. We, we license technology to measure hydrogen. We've developed that technology, we've patented the technology, and we've been commercially selling it for about the last 15 years. Yeah, and your technology is obviously very important to the industry then. It is, absolutely. And the thing that's really differentiated about it is that we have a patented solid state design. So this type of sensor is very reliable, lasts a long time, and is accurate over time. So in industrial applications, this is critical because the cost to service and maintain sensors is very high. So having a sensor that you can, is reliable and accurate over a long time period of time is a big competitive advantage for us. So is the reliability the, the key aspect of the sensor? I would say it's ability, I mean, hydrogen is a very difficult molecule to measure. So as, as far as things to measure, it's very difficult and various technologies of work, but the problem is they get contaminated by cross gases. So if there's some other gas present, it might pick up a reading. What's unique about ours is it's hydrogen specific and it's very accurate and reliable, you know, long-term reliability. And it obviously doesn't come about its challenges. So what sort of challenges have you faced in building up H2 scan? Uh, developing the processes necessary to manufacture a solid state sensor that actually works reliably. So it's built around a, using semiconductor manufacturing processes with different layers of materials that allow it to work reliably over time. So it's a tricky process. Okay, and the safety aspect of the sensors, is that is that vital as well? Absolutely, so if you, hydrogen is used for a safety applications, for area monitoring, or for process control, and if too much hydrogen gets into a system, it can be dangerous. So the, the uh, ability to safely monitor hydrogen gives assurance to the operators around, right? Because a, 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 uh, an event that happens that, you know, a disaster that happens is bad for the industry and bad for everything. And having a sensor that's reliable is going to work so you don't have to worry about it not working in a safety situation and can last a long time is, you know, critically important. And, and at the end of the day, those kind of uh, events, you know, can stop something early in its development. So it's good if you have a reliable sensor. And then the other aspect of it is it's been proven in tough industrial applications for the last 10 years. So, you know, it's not like we're a new company. The market's now emerging, but we have something that's been industrial proven to enter this new hydrogen economy market. So your, your proven instruments and proven experience, where does this lead you in the next few years in this emerging market? Well, so when people go start the hydrogen journey, and if you come here, there's a lot of companies, everybody's trying to figure this out. It's not a solid, there's no clear pathway. The market opportunity is enormous, obviously, but everybody's trying to figure out how this works. What standards to develop? You know, how does it, how do you get your end clients to adopt to this technology? And so by having a, a technology that's solid at the beginning, it gives the people insurance like, okay, we have something that's proven, now we can focus on other aspects of the, the journey. And the end users, if you take your end users, they fall into two categories. You're, you know, like for example, your, your home users, if there's hydrogen gas in, in the methane, mixed with methane, they're concerned, right? So how do you assure them? And the way to do that is having hydrogen sensing so that they know that if there's a leak or something like that, it's measured and can be maintained safe. And the, the, the industrial clients are in the same situation, right? So having, a, I'll call it a foundational piece of the hydrogen economy will ensure that the, it goes forward and on from a stable base. Absolutely, and I know we're at a hydrogen conference here, but are they, are they able to be used in other, in other industrial gases? Uh, yes, so I mean, in other industrial processes, so oil and gas, petrochemical, ammonia, steel manufacturing, we use hydrogen, and, I, and we also use hydrogen measurement for stability of the electric grid. So hydrogen sensing is used to determine if a transformer is experiencing problems. It's the first 
leading indicator that a transformer could uh, fail or explode. So that's also uh, important to us because, you know, from a grid reliability standpoint, having that measurement to determine that the grid is going to be up is really important. Okay, it's vital. And back to hydrogen and back to the summit, how have you found the exp um, exhibition? It's, it's fantastic. It's absolutely fantastic. You know, COVID has been a long, dry spell. We're all getting out of it, but the, there's a lot of energy in this room. And there's a lot of, I like the entrepreneurial spirit because there's new economies emerging. People are figuring out ways to s support that economy, to make great products and to bring, bring it to reality. Yeah, we've really enjoyed it. But Dave, I'll leave the last words of you. If you had a message for anyone here or anyone watching, what would it be? I think as an industrial uh, partner in this journey, look at what the, the clients have done in the past and have proven and use that base to uh, build products that are second to none in safety and accuracy and reliability. Use our hydrogen sensors. There we go, Dave Myers. Thank you very much for your time. Thanks.